Good afternoon, folks. This is Big Bo, and we're down here horsing around and thought I'd try something a little bit different. Today, we're going to look at a 2017 Lakota Charger 8311 Gooseneck horse trailer. This is a four horse trailer, 35 feet long in beautiful condition, eight foot wide, weighs 7,100 pounds before you add anything to it. Very uh, just a beautiful trailer folks Beautiful living quarters and folks. Let me tell you something. I love RVs. I've been around them my entire life Maybe not so much around horse trailers, but This is my personal observation if they made Travel trailers and fifth wheels as well as they build these horse trailers Nobody would ever get rid of one because it was worn out. I mean, I really wish the RV manufacturers would start building trailers built like these are I mean, this thing is tough. Um, got the low, it's a low floor model so the horses can get up in it. It's a four horse trailer. You got your side escape door. Got all the vent windows. Goodyear tires. All metal siding, riveted in so no glue. Rear doors. One is, of course, your tack room. Four horse, uh, four saddle tack room. Got the hidden switches right here for your interior lights for the inside. And of course, your loading door right here. And this is all locking, by the way. And the trailer overall shows very, very little use. It's got the aluminum dividers with the pads. Uh, four vent windows on this side You've got three uh, Bays and then of course you can use that over there for your fourth one if you need to so it is a four horse trailer uh, Got the 48 inch 48 inch tall kick panel padded uh, Floor so you can just take a hose and brush to it if you want to LED lights got the pop-out vents It's got a power awning like on an RV and it works great. I mean, folks, this is a, uh, wow. And wait till you see the decor inside. It's got the fold down steps on both doors. Good thing about this metal siding is kind of like the, the way the working place used to be built. You don't, you don't have any delamination worries. Everything's riveted in. Open this up and look at this interior, folks. This is and this is all solid wood. This isn't just paneling. It's beautiful interior in the living quarters. Beautiful interior shows very little use, folks. And these and I looked them up online. I mean, these are fifty nine to sixty four thousand dollars new, and um, this is only a year and a half old for thirty six nine. Now, the mattress is missing. I'm going to put a brand new one. I got to order it when I get done with the video. I want to measure it out. It'll be a queen. I'm going to try to fit a king in there, but I've just got to measure and see what'll fit. But it'll have a brand new inner spring mattress up here in the bedroom area. Plenty of light switches. Got a cabinets over there, cabinets up front, some reading lamps. All this will look really good when I get the mattress and, and bed spread in it. Leather sleeper sofa, so you can sleep up to four people in here. I love this wood. I mean, wow, that's 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 nice stuff right there. Like I said, I I wish it build a dang I wish it build a dang camper like this. But I'm gonna tell you something, folks, and, and leave me some comments. But I keep thinking in my mind, taking all that stuff out of the back and make it into a toy hauler. I mean, you'd have a toy hauler that you could pass down to your grandkids and great-grandkids if you wanted to, if you did that. Um, if you didn't need it for a horse trailer, by the way. But beautiful interior, folks. A lot of similarities to the RVs. It's got a furnace, 13,500 BTU roof air that's ducted. Um, microwave, good tall ceiling. Got the two-way RV refrigerator freezer, and yes, it does have the propane tanks. Got two of them, and a spare tire, and everything's under the front. Welded in, you know. 
not just bolted in like an RV, but that neither one of those bottles or that spare tire is going anywhere unless you want it to. Got a solid sliding door for privacy, and you've got a decent sized bathroom area. Uh, Dometic China RV toilet. Big medicine cabinet. Um, stand up shower. It's also got a hot water spigot on the outside so you can wash your horses. And of course, it's got a, a water heater and all that stuff. Fantastic vent fan. Locking door going into the horse horses area. And um, there's your escape door. Vent window on it. Good tall ceiling in here. Like I said, all these right here are snap into place. Very little use. Very, very little use, folks. I mean, it's been used, you can tell, but just a few times. Wow. Got the pop-out vents on top for ventilation, and of course with that and your side windows, you're going to get quite a bit of air circulating in here. Anyway, folks, it's nice, and uh, it's only $36.9, and when you look at what this thing cost a year and a half ago, that is a pretty uh, incredible discount. I mean, wow, that's, uh, what, $24,000, and it's a year and a half old that the original owners lost on this. It's in beautiful condition. The carpets, everything's original. Nothing's been changed. Got a big TV on up there. Uh, Jensen Bluetooth stereo, built-in DVD player. Suburban stove top, doesn't look like it's been used. Love the decor in here, the window seals. Got the, uh, got the shades in here, the backsplash. Ceiling panels, everything's just got a, just a great look to it, folks. And like I said, I'm, I'm honestly thinking about the logistics of taking everything out of the back and turning it into a toy hauler with it and just putting a ramp door on the back or a couple of a uh, or a couple of just fold up ramps but anyway you know whether you're going to use it for a horse trailer whether you're going to convert it to a toy hauler which actually is a thing i've did some research on it and there are i've seen i saw several of them that have been converted into toy haulers and by gosh folks you'd have something you couldn't buy anywhere else i tell you that if you did that anyway folks 36.9 haggle free firm um, financing is available with approved credit. Um, uh, if you got any questions, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Of course, 10% minimum down payment is required. If you got any questions about this, folks, um, give us a call. Of course, we've got clear title in-house. Don't worry about that. We're a licensed, bonded, insured dealer. Uh, we do take trade-ins, and we'll trade for other stuff besides trailers. We'll trade for RVs, boats. Cars, trucks, gold. Folks, we're horse traders at heart. What can I say? But we'll trade for pretty much anything of value that we can legally resell and don't have to feed every day. So anyway, folks, quit horsing around. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. If you're interested in this Lakota, not going to last long, Lakota Charger 8311. Beautiful condition. <sighs> for $24,000 less than what it cost a year and a half ago. Pretty amazing. If you got any questions, give us a call, 706-965-7929. I don't get horse trailers in very often. I have had a few over the years, but this is actually the, I believe it's the first one I've ever done a video on. I may be wrong, but in recent memory anyway, I think this is the first one I've ever done a video on. We've always just sold them on pictures and and sold them pretty quick but this is definitely probably the nicest one that we've had by a long shot anyway folks not going to last 36.9 we'll trade um give us a call 706-965-7929 visit my website parkwayrvcenter.com if you're watching this on youtube i'll have a link in the item in the video description click on that link it takes you right to the website where i'll have exact information about this camper uh, some pictures, 
details, weights, and much more, all that on our website, parkwayrvcenter.com, or if you are on YouTube, click on the link below, and it will take you right to it. If you got any questions, call us, email us. Um, nationwide delivery is available. If you want a quote on that, contact us and, and tell us where you live, and we'll get you a quote. Now, keep in mind, folks, 36 9 plus tax is a price. No extra fees. No dock fees, prep fees, none of that nonsense. Uh, for 36 9 we're going to go over this camper, my Tex wheel, make sure everything functions. We've already checked the major stuff like the air in the fridge, lights, TV. Uh, it's got the Bigfoot jacks on the front. They both work. Uh, we check all that stuff, but we'll take it one step further. Check all your plumbing, propane system. Um, put you a new mattress in here, which I'm going to uh, order right after this video. So it should be in here in just a few days. Inner spring, like I said, queen or king. Count on a queen, but if it's a king, it's a bonus. I'm pretty sure a king will fit, but like I said, I'll, uh, I'm not going to make sure until I measure it. Eight foot wide, clean horse trailer. No odors, no smoke odors, no pet odors, no, uh, well, no horse, you know what odors. Um, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Uh, this one, not going to last long. Like I said, I, I've, I've got a strong suspicion somebody will buy this to convert it to a toy hauler. I just... Uh, I may be wrong, but, uh, man, that would be a heck of a rig. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, give us a call. You can email us, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Um, call us anytime, 706-965-7929. Numbers answered 24-7. Family owned and operated used RV dealership for 51 years now. Folks, we sell five to 600 used units a year. We don't play around. We trade for just about anything. And uh, obviously, I'm shooting a video on a on a gooseneck horse trailer, but uh, we'll trade for pretty much anything of value. We have financing available, delivery available, no extra fees, no games, gimmicks, or surprises. The sales price, the applicable sales tax, that's it. If you want to know how much your sales tax will be, when and where you got to pay it, contact my sales department beforehand. Tell them where you live, how you're paying for it, and they will definitely get you a price. Anyway, folks, thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.